perhaps not been quite the tournament that you'd hoped for, but what are the key lessons that you've learned here? The main thing is the experience we, we get in the, to do our tactics things, what we train every week in, uh, in China, in a higher level. And that I think that's the mo most things uh, we can learn, the experience to use everything what we learn in China in a higher level. Now they know how, how to do, and we need to train also more high in intensity. The team appeared to start slowly, but did pick up certainly for the last few games. Does that give you heart going forward? Of course they're going in the right direction because they have the right mentality to learn. They want to learn, they're listening, they try the best. And uh, I think this is the key point they want. And uh, the, the bad thing is if we go home now on uh, Monday, normally we need to stay longer. That's why the club uh, decide with me um, we can stay longer maybe in the period in the August, September and October to stay for two or three months here to have every week these kind of games. How can this experience act as an incentive to improve? Last year we did it. We, last year we lost higher. We played between Barcelona, Real Madrid, Benfica, Paris Saint-Germain, Manchester, really, really the big teams. We lost really high 5-6-0. And at the end of the year in the China we had the tournament for our championship, the final round of 16 teams. And we win every game. And I think the, the key point was we was in, in Europe to have this kind of experience, stress, less time, higher speed without ball, with the ball, passing the details, how I control the ball with the right foot, how I pass the ball to the right foot, also with higher, uh, with less time. Yeah, in China we have maybe one, two seconds more time. Here we talk about under one second maybe on the ball. That's why that is the, the main things, because they know every tactical thing. When, we, when you ask them how we're defending, how we uh, work against the ball, everybody, they know. But the right thing is to do it in the right moment, and that is only when you have this kind of competition against the best teams. Obviously, the, the Guangzhou Academy, it's, it's known as being, I think, one of the biggest football schools in the world. What are the key philosophies that you're trying to, to implement there on the players? Um, Evergrande is a very young um, team, young company. The owners are young, the philosophy is young. The first team is a team who is trying to win everything. We have one of the best teams in China and we are playing very high. This is the main key, also our philosophy. We want to press high, we want to control the ball, we want to control the game. Yeah, that's, we try to give all young players in our academy this philosophy. Do you feel that China football is now on the right track? Yes, of course. Also, they have uh, two, different, uh, two or three different kind of points. We have the first league. They invest a lot of money in the best player in the world. That is a good part. They don't allow uh, 20 or 15 foreign players. They allow only five, maximum five, including one Asian foreign player. That's good. The children have has a very good player to see, or oh, I want to be like Martinez, Alcatzon, uh, Ramirez, Cervinho. This is a good merchandising for the young ch children, and they can see, oh, I can train like him, I want the, the movement like him. And this is a, a good part. They develop the first league, but also they develop the base. The second part is, we have the president of China, he wants fo football, and he bring it to the elementary school, and that is very good. Yeah? Everywhere in China starting now in the school to play football. The other part is a lot of foreign people are coming to trying to, devolve, to de develop the young coaches. And that is the key point for the futures because I'm going maybe in two or three or four years. Yeah? But in ten years maybe other foreign coaches are coming. But for the future China needs to work with the Chinese coaches. And it, it's the main key uh, to develop the coaches to also the base get better.